Alrighty, guys, welcome back. Earlier, we were talking about uh, Kenny Pickett uh, and his move to the Eagles. And now we're going to be discussing a Montreal man who returns from vacation, gets a letter from Quebec government saying he's deceased. So, let's... I'm, I'm getting prize. real good. I'm getting real good at like finding good stories for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a <laughs> I'm boosting my like, ego up a little bit. Okay. Like, <laughs> do you understand how good I am at this? <laughs> let me let me tell you. <laughs> I got that Kenny Pickett mentality right oh, now. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Okay. Fire away, my dear. I'm looking forward to this. So, a Montreal man returns from vacation and gets a letter from Quebec government saying he's deceased. After returning home from an extended vacation in Costa Rica, a Montreal man gets a surprise of a lifetime in the mail. The Quebec government thinks he's dead. In a 14-page letter from the Ministry of Justice, the government wrote that it is hoping to collect money from Nick's, Nick Fat Fatrus, I think is what it is, uh, a state for a speeding ticket. The problem is Nick is very much alive. I was laughing. I said, wow, that's news to me. He said in an interview at his home Thursday, the 34 year old said he contested a speeding ticket from 2022 and then left for an extended vacation in Central America. Completely forgot about it, came back and I got this letter. Uh, Nick said he was taken aback and is thankful his never his mother never saw it. Uh, Nick said if she would have opened this and I was off on my travels, God forbid, you know, she would say what's going on. Nick says he tried to call the government to prove that he actually is alive but wasn't able to speak to anyone it's very hard to get through um he said sometimes it happens uh to have some mistakes like this but it it's really really rare said um nick's lawyer um their their last names are <laughs> i don't even want to try our to doozies. <laughs> they're doozies yeah okay. so uh nick's lawyer said nick needs to declare that he's alive and quickly um it won't only affect this traffic ticket it will affect all of his you know successions and everything nick said he just wants to prove that he's not a dead man walking <laughs> uh, my next step is to just figure this out and tell them look maybe it was a mistake a typo who knows uh the Justice Ministry did not reply um, to the news interview requested um, by the publication that was uh, set on Thursday. Shortly after 6 p.m., a ministry spokesperson said in an email that the mix-up was uh, a case of human error. The collector of fines mistakenly used a letter template used to correspond with an estate rather than the one normally used to communicate with a defendant. We apologize for the situation. An appropriate follow-up will be made with the citizen. <laughs> All right. So give me your, your go ahead, lead off. Can you imagine like going on a lovely extended vacation in Costa Rica? You're having a great time. You're getting some sun. You're doing hikes and I'm sure, you know, zip lines and all that good stuff. And then you come home and you have to basically reset everything from this long vacation to get back to real life and you know you're going through your mail and stuff like that and you see this letter and you open it up and it has declared that you're dead <laughs> it's like uh, i don't i'm alive and well i mean unless i feel like for a minute i would have like a real like truman show situation going on in my mind <laughs> Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm like, or no, 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 not Truman Show. Uh, six Sense, a real Six Sense situation where I'd be like, "Oh my God, am I like actually alive, or am I really?" Dead? <laughs> so you're questioning your own <laughs> my own existence for a second. Yeah, I would. I would. I'd be like, "Wait a minute." <laughs> <laughs> are, are you looking to find your find the body then, or are you like? <laughs> I would call everybody I know and be like, "Hey, you can hear me, right?" Can you come over and make sure oh. that you can see me? <laughs> can see, you confirm that I'm alive and well? I kind of find it funny because in my head, I it's kind of funny. You went with the television shows in your head. Yeah. I went with the television shows in my head. 
instantly I started thinking about like, ooh, you know, some of these like spy movies and the guy finds it, they, they think he's dead and it changes your, all the stuff that you can do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wow, you can actually disappear on this one. You got the documentation already there. Swing by, pick up the, the life insurance check. <laughs> Talk to one of your buddies. Leo, man, you know, I got a nice little life insurance policy here. You give me uh, <laughs> I give me 95 percent. I'll give you 5 percent. And we just I'm just, I'm taking off. So you say that's what popped in my head is starting to think about like all those television movies where they think the guy's dead, but he's actually somewhere else. Oh, so you so- would take it as a <laughs> as an opportunity to go off the grid, basically. That's what you. Yeah, I'm just saying do. you could do that. At that point, it's like, but the consequence. There's there's Don't consequences do that. for that. <laughs> no, no, is no. Do I'm not sure- do that. I'm pretty sure that's fraud, so don't do that. <laughs> yeah, do not go that route. Don't but listen it to <laughs> no. I'm not telling you. It's Tate time likes for to, get to go get that trouble. money. In, it's to go get that money in the Caymans now. It's not time to go to go to the Caymans bank account yet. No. <laughs> Faith has this whole thing that she has this whole thoughts that I have this private account in the Caymans that I'm just waiting for this kind of a moment to disappear. <laughs> You're laundering your money. That's what Cayman accounts are for. <laughs> no, they're not. You've been watching too many bad programs. <laughs> Anybody? You never saw Breaking Bad? Hello? <laughs> I'm the only person in America that did not like Breaking Bad. We'll bring that <gasps> back up again. What? Did not like it. I love okay. that show. Okay, we're gonna so go. Much. We're gonna bring that. We're gonna bring back the, the. Let's let's talk about this one first, and then we're mm-hmm. going back to Breaking Bad. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> this is this could be a bad situation because yeah. the fact is, he's not. He has to get a lawyer. Mm-hmm. The more the longer this goes on, the worse it gets. Benefits. And what country was this in? Um, the, so he was declared uh, dead in Montreal, so Canada. So in Canada. Mm-hmm. So that takes him out of the universal health care, takes him out of a lot of other things. Mm-hmm. And then having to prove like, hey, I'm alive, mm-hmm. that can be serious. That could be a serious problem, especially in, yeah. in like <clears throat> Europe or in Canada where all of a sudden, sorry, you can't get any more health care or you can't get this and yeah. that. And if Canada's anything like Portugal, the bureaucracy is nuts. Mm. That's the one thing I do like about the U.S. Things are things are very streamlined, let's say. And if it's anything like Europe, man, you got to once you get in the system, get out of getting out of the system is hard. Mm -hmm. And so getting a lawyer, getting everything to get taken care of. I want some I want some like uh some 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 death pay because I need I need I need to cover my lawyer's some expenses severance. things like <laughs> Yes, I need some severance <laughs> for not being on this earth any longer. <laughs> um so I can totally see that. But if you you know, I could what also popped in my head is like Costa Rica is actually pretty awesome. It is, it's nice I've been. Oh, so what part? See, I've been I've been to Costa Rica a bunch of times. I couldn't. People tend to like the East Coast better than the West. I'm more of a West Coast of and that Liberia area. Uh, I don't remember. Lesson. It was it was on a cruise. It was one of my ports on a cruise ship. So I don't remember what part. Of Everyone Costa Rica. Con- considers it like Hawaii, but way more laid back. Mm. Um, I even thought about moving to Costa Rica for a brief second instead of Portugal. Mm. Both both are ma- amazing countries to live in. Mm-hmm. I always feel a little weird in Costa Rica. Like every time I go to Costa Rica, I'm like, I could live here. It's just, the people are amazing. Everything is beautiful. But I always feel like, like some rebels are gonna come through and like take over the country. I'm gonna be stranded in South America and Latin America <laughs> oh somewhere God. trying to get out. I don't feel that way in Portugal. I feel, mm-hmm. you know, Portugal's part of NATO, you know, your easy access to the US. I just feel it's just it doesn't feel so 
second, third world to me, even though both countries are two of my favorite countries in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, quick change. We were talking about, you were talking about your Breaking Bad comment. <laughs> I am the only person, everyone loves Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. I didn't like I the have, ending. I thought the ending was stupid, but I have I like no the clue overall. what the ending. Well, I, I don't want to be that person, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people told me, oh, Breaking Bad, best series ever. Mm -hmm. And so I watched, I watched the entire first season. It's like, no, 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 no. You got to get through the first two seasons. You got to get into it. You gotta and so I watched it. the second season. So I watched two seasons of it, and they're like, now it's going to get good. Listen, <laughs> if it's taken me two years you gotta to have... get to the good part, you gotta I don't the want that show. Background of everything. <laughs> I don't want anything that's going to take me two years. Like, you know, they do really good character development. You got to get through all of that beginning mm -hmm. character development. And then if it, it takes really me two good. years to develop the characters on any show, I'm out. <laughs> I am out. I am sorry. If, if I can't, if I can't figure out the show and I'm not, if I'm not into the show in two years, we need to see other people. See, I don't yeah. care. Even, even a girl, if I'm, if I meet a girl, <laughs> I'm a single guy. And you go on a date with her and it's like, man, I'm not really feeling this. And she tells me like, just give me two years. After that, you're gonna <laughs> love me. You're gonna be so in love with me. I think in that's the 2026. <laughs> you're gonna love me in 2026. Oh, hell no. I I'm don't think that's out. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna fall madly in love with me in 2026. Well, that's the way I feel about Breaking Bad. If I gotta wait two years before I love it, see, mm -mm. I didn't watch Breaking Bad when like it was coming out. Like I recently watched Breaking Bad. I streamed it on Netflix during my winter break, and I watched all. I think it was six seasons. All six seasons in like a month. Because <laughs> I'm a couldn't. I'm a binge watcher. I am a total binge watcher. I am the I am the same yeah. way. Once I start a show, I have to finish it. So that's why, like, during the school semester, I don't watch any shows that I'm really interested in because I know if I start them, I'm not going to be able to do anything else until I finish it. <laughs> so. I don't even like. I don't even. That's the reason why, like, I gave. I was easy for me to cord cut and do away with cable television. Mm -hmm. Is because I don't like any of those shows that I like. I watch a show and then I gotta wait a week. I don't even like They're the shows. They're doing it now though with yes! streaming because I am and I hate it. I absolutely <laughs> hate it because I was watching a dark a docu series that came out um, on Max about um, some things that went down um, on the Nickelodeon set, um, and I'll just leave it at that. But I was watching okay. it. And there were only two episodes released. And I was yeah, like, that's dumb. I'm paying I'm... for a streaming service to stream. Why do I have to wait a week for the next episode? <laughs> I, as a matter of fact, there's been a couple of shows that I started. And I'm like, oh, this would be awesome. And then it's like, I watched three episodes and then you got to wait a couple of weeks for the next three to come out or something like yeah. that. And I'm like, Shh. Me and this show need to see other people again. I'm yeah. I'm quick. Nope. I'll come back to you when I can't when I run out of things to stream five <laughs> years from now. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember this show. But I'm not I'm not waiting. Yeah. That's like a lot of the shows that I like. Like Love is Blind, that just finished up, but like I had to wait a week for like maybe two, three episodes. And then I have to wait another week. So, uh, I'll just um, drop a show and be like, move on. Yeah. I'll remember it a couple years from now and be like, man, I can't find anything to watch. And then I'll be like, pop. I'll go no, and look and like, all of them are there. I'll obsess over it because my TikTok feed will have stuff from those shows. And so I'm like, well, I have to watch the next episode immediately when it comes out or I'm going to get spoilers on TikTok. So I have to, I have to remember to watch them when they come out. So, because wow. I don't want the show spoiled. Anyway, um, uh, 
Sorry to we that went guy. Off, we were, we, yeah, went, we off went way off the deep end. Sorry well, to the guy. We, we cover who... that, but we, we got we cover some of our own stuff in here too. <laughs> Sorry to the guy who the Canadian government thought he was um, dead. I hope that works out for you. You know that you get everything squared away. Go to the Caymans. Get your money out of your Cayman bank account. Go travel Asia and, and Africa. And don't let anybody know, and then just show up uh, ten years later and be like, "Surprise!" <laughs> don't do that. No. <laughs> as long you see, this is not one of those bad stories. Mm -hmm. The bad stories are when people find out, and it's like they're dead. People are dead. Ooh, here's a story. I had it was everyone calls me Tate. And we used to have a, a really good buddy of ours mm -hmm. and his name was Tig. And Tig was a great guy and he, his nickname is Tig. And he passed. Yes, and he passed. He was a great guy. Mm -hmm. And I had been doing a lot of traveling and things. And it was a party. I go to my buddy's party and I show up and this guy drops a glass of wine right on the floor. And it's like, and he runs over and he tackles, grabs me and tackles me. And he's like, I thought you were dead. And they, they, this, I swear to God, this is a true story. It just made me think of this. And he punches me a couple of times. And he's like, I cried over you. <laughs> I thought, true Damn story. Right. <laughs> and he turns to our buddy Preston and he's like, and the dude was like, no, not Tate, dumbass. <laughs> no, Tate passed. He's like, oh, I thought you were saying that Tate passed. And so he actually, th so I, so could you imagine going to a party and no. I walk in and it's like, everybody see up? a ghost. What's up, homie? And it's like, whoa. Back from the dead. <laughs> so that has happened to me once. He was the only guy that thought, he's like, you know, he, he literally thought like I had passed. And so that was kind of a funny situation that happened about, Ooh, that happened about five years, about five years ago that that happened. Just made me think crazy. of that as well. That's crazy. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to dive into our oddities of the day. So make sure you stick around. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Stick around fools. <laughs> 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 All righty, we'll be right back.